Hey guys, it's Steven here and welcome back to another virtual reality headset review here on my channel. So well, um, today we have here another mobile virtual reality headset review because um, you can put your smartphone into that thing we're going to check out. And the thing we're going to check out is the Dive VR headset made by Durovis. I hope I pronounced it correctly. And you will find a link to buy it or to check it out down below in the description. Currently it retails for around 70-80 bucks, so it depends from where you buy it. And yeah, um, a couple of words regarding Dive. Now, um, Dive is really the original VR headset for mobile devices. So there are actually now a lot, um, many coming from China, and they all look kind of different. Also, size is coming up with some high-end um, mobile VR headsets, like you have some really awesome lenses. This one here, it's actually for the mid-range budget, so um, it's more expensive than cardboard, but way cheaper than, for instance, the Zeiss headset. Okay, so, well, um, today we're going to check this out, and if you follow me around now for a longer time, you know, I did a lot of VR stuff in the past, like, we had some fun in Minecraft with Oculus, we had a drunken roller coaster ride, that was really a lot of fun, and I had to warm it after the video, but, um, yeah, let's talk about something else. Now, um, you can see here, for instance, Google Cardboard, and yeah, this is the World of Tanks edition. Now, yeah, why should you actually buy a dive? Now, um, you can reuse that. So it's made out of rugged nylon. It's not some cheap cardboard material. And for instance, if you sit on this one here, it's broken. But I did sit on this one here just by accident. And um, it still survived. So it's really rugged plastic. It's not some cheap plastic. And um, it also has some, some other advantages, which I want to tell you later. Now, one of the biggest advantages is that it's a real headset with a strap. So Google Cardboard are those cheap cardboard things you can buy from Amazon for just a couple of bucks. I mean, they're working. They have lenses inside, not the best quality, but um, it's definitely working. The problem is you cannot adjust the IPD. The IPD is the um, interpo... Inter I don't know how to pronounce it, but basically the distance between your pupils. Now, I'm a bit of retard, so one of my pupils is a bit bigger than the other one. I don't know why. Maybe my parents dropped me when I was younger. But basically, um, you really have to customize your um, VR headset to your own needs. Otherwise, um, the VR experience is not that good. Now, I follow Oculus for a long time. I had a lot of fun with the Dev Kit 1. I had a lot of development going on there. But basically, if you do not customize it once again for yourself, so you create your customized profile, then the VR experience is not as that good as it um, could be. And yeah, um, you can see we have here a fixed IPD, so a fixed distance between the lenses. And that means um, the VR experience is for some persons maybe better for other persons not that good I mean it's fully working so you can watch a movie you can even play a game but yeah you look a bit stupid because you hold it have to hold it all the time for sure there are cardboard things with a strap but this one here for instance if you put it on there it's just falling down and the material is kind of cheap and the VR experience is nice to experience it once but you're not fully immersed okay then we have for instance oculus which I can show you right over here and you can also check out um, the videos from me on my channel. And Oculus is so far the best VR experience ever. I tested Sony Morpheus, I've tested um, Samsung VR, and well, um, I have to say Sony, um, it's not Morpheus anymore, it's actually PlayStation VR. It was a very good experience. It was so sharp, and I have here the dev kit too. The problem is with the dev kit too, it's full HD resolution. Sounds maybe um, really a lot because the display is kind of small, but the lenses you have inside, they, um, they magnify the pictures so much that you can see all the pixels and it looks like you would look through a grid. And if you play shooters where you have a long distance, like you want to snipe somebody off um, 300 meters away, then the body is maybe 5 pixels or 3 pixels and yeah, it's really hard to see something um, in Oculus and that has to be improved. And well, um, on those mobile mobile VR headsets, you can basically put in your smartphone. So what does that mean? Now, for instance, I'll come over here, my Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge has a 2K display. And you see it's kind of small, so if you put um, that in there, I have a lot of more pixels per inch. And um, basically, if we magnify at the same level, we can see a way sharper picture. And I've noticed it, I've tested it with the S6 and the S6 Edge, and if you watch a movie, this looks so much better than in Oculus. 
Another disadvantage of Oculus is that, um, for instance, you have here the cables, you have to yeah, carry around the whole case with all that, and it needs a pretty good computer. But you can also play um, very nice games which you cannot play on your mobile phone, like you cannot play, for instance, Skyrim, GTA, I mean, we had a look at the strip club on my channel, it was super awesome. And yeah, you cannot do that on your smartphone. But um, development is going on. Smartphones are getting way more performance every day. And I'm pretty sure in the future we'll have some nice stuff. And I know what you're thinking, 3D porn. Now yes, um, also for the people who are into that, there's a lot and it's, um, there's a company and they have even produced their own headset for that thing with some toys. and. Yeah, maybe I will bring you a review on that, but today we're going to have a closer look here at the Dive um, yeah, VR headset. Alright guys, um, you'll find a link down below in the description if you're interested, and now I would say let's do a quick unboxing, let's talk a little bit about that device here, and then you will see um, me playing that and I will give you a feedback on the experience. Now ladies and gentlemen, there we go, let's check out what we can find inside of the box and first of all here we have the virtual reality headset and we'll just have a closer look at it in a second and by the way it's already upgraded with the magnet upgrade so this is basically a magnetic switch or whatever and you will see later how it actually works. Okay, um, then here we can find some additional things or so some accessories, first of all here the user manual it's multi-language, comes in English and German because I've got it from Germany, so two languages. And um, actually um, it's distributed by Shugi and you can find them also on Amazon. And well, the user manual basically explains how to use it, but it's um, very easy to use actually. You don't even need a user manual. Now there's also a um, owner's card included, so this gives you some premium feeling and the Dive app, it's um, for free on Play Store, so also if you don't have the Dive VR headset, you can just go and download it. And yeah, there's a owner's card with a code, so basically um, it unlocks some additional features because the app is for free. Okay, then it comes with an iPhone 4 case, I'm not sure why, actually I don't even have an iPhone, but somehow this was included, maybe that was some special edition sold for the iPhone, but honestly I can't use it because I'm not an iPhone user. We have a microfiber cloth in there to clean the lenses, it's really important that the lenses are clean and that there are no scratches, and I think it's also possible to replace the lenses. It comes then with a um, black protection bag, yes, and also a white one, so actually you get two protection bags and they feel pretty soft, so that's nice. And well, um, I've also got here the Durovis Drive Magnet Upgrade Kit, and this is how to use it, but it's already installed on my VR headset, so it includes a magnet and metal ring and one adhesive plastic case. Okay, that's basically everything you can find inside of the box and now I would say let's have a closer look at the virtual reality headset. So ladies and gentlemen, here's the headset. Now let me give you a quick overview of it before we're going to test it out. So well, it's completely made out of plastic and it doesn't feel so stable but trust me guys, it is very stable. Now let's get started and let's turn it around. So basically you're looking here through the lenses which you can see here and it feels quite comfortable because you have here some foam um, on the sides also and this is just the same like it would wear skiing goggles so it doesn't feel um, somehow different. Then here you can see the strap with the dive logo looks a lot like the oculus strap so there's not a huge difference and it fits very small hats but also very big hats so you really don't need to worry about that and you can adjust it pretty easily with that thing here. Alright, um, then as I've said before, the VR headset, it's completely made out of plastic, but it feels really quite durable. Now here we have the tray, here you have to put in your smartphone, but before we open it up, I want to show you here the sliders, and you have um, a slide on each side, and basically that moves the lens here on the inside. So um, if it's too far away from your eye, you can move it to your eye, and if it's too near, you can move it away from your eye. But also, you can just move it in and out. Oh, sorry, out and in actually. And this is basically to adjust your IPD, your interpupillar distance or something like that. So the distance between your eyes. And this is very good because sometimes it looks kind of blurry and then you have to adjust the lens. And you know, um, each person is different. So um, with that you can um, personalize the virtual reality headset pretty easy. You can for sure also do that on the other side. So it's fully customizable for each eye. 
Now here you can see um, that magnetic switch. So basically um, it's just a little piece you can um, order extra and there's some adhesive tape and you just put it on your dive. So for sure this is not included so when you buy the dive there's this um, magnetic thing here not included and it works like this you just slide it down and this is basically like a click switch. I'm really not sure how it works but we're going to test this out a little bit later. Okay then there we go. Now let's open it up so I can show you how to put your phone in. And basically to open it up um, you have to um, pull that um, plastic cover here a little bit down and then you can open it up. Actually very easy but I just don't like the feeling here how it snaps in. Now um, those little pins here they look so small I'm really afraid that it will break. But so far I've messed around with it a lot and didn't break so it looks quite durable. Okay, now here on the inside we have some kind of foam and this basically presses your smartphone um, against um, yeah, the surface here. And here in the middle we have some kind of um, plastic thing which separates your display parts. Your display will be split into two parts um, if you run any of those cardboard apps or the dive application. And each eye gets an individual picture and basically um, you just have to make sure that you put your smartphone correctly in and that this plastic thing here is really separating your display and then you can actually use it. Now um, I have here my Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge for instance and with the cover um, it's a bit too thick to fit so actually I would use um, the smartphone always without the cover here and the virtual reality headset and this is how you put it in. What is really nice is that we have here some kind of adhesive thing. It's it's not sticky, it's some kind of those gecko things, you know, some um, yeah, some anti-glide pad or however that is called. So the smartphone can't glide out because it really sticks in place and that's a good thing. Because you also don't want that your smartphone is coming out like of the Google Cardboard when you're in a roller coaster and you're shaking your head and that happened and a buddy of mine just crashed his iPhone with that. Alright, um, this is basically how that thing here looks like. So it's very simple. Now what you do is you just put in your smartphone, that's what we'll just do in a second. Then um, you start the application and then you just adjust the lenses and yeah, and then you can actually go and um, explore the virtual reality. So there we go. So guys, there we go and now let me show you how that thing here works. So basically on your smartphone you just have to enter the Google Play Store and search for the dive application or any other application which is compatible with Google Cardboard. So I have here some applications, here the dive application which you can also download if you don't have um, the VR kit and here we have the cardboard application or we have some games like VR roller coaster for cardboard which is compatible with dive and also the VR toilet simulator so basically every VR application which you have on Android works um, in that little thing and also all the iOS applications okay um, that's basically it um, once you have just installed the application you want to run you run it and what you will see is that it actually splits the screen. Okay, I have here some Facebook thing which I have to remove. And now um, you can see we have a split screen, so left eye and right eye. And now you have to insert it properly. Now if you have the magnetic switch, so you should place it on the left side. Because um, if I now put it in like this, the, the top side here is on the left side. And at the top we have the hole sensor. So basically that magnetic switch um, works like this. Um, it's a magnet and if you push it, then um, it triggers the hole sensor of the, of the smartphone. So if your smartphone does not come with a hole sensor, like some cheap China phones or whatever, then the magnetic switch is not working. But I'll show you how to use the screen if you don't have that additional switch button or whatever that thing here is called. So what we're going to do now, we'll just put the smartphone into the dive via headset and there we go. So we open it up here like this. Here you can see the foam and um, by the way I've also removed one of the lenses to clean it and I want to show you that. So um, you can actually remove the lenses and then you can clean them and this is how it looks like. So basically um, if you have a look through that it's a huge magnification lens. And yeah um, let's put it back inside and you just have to slide the lens in here like this. I hope I can do it here right now in front of the camera. It's a bit tricky and now it's completely dirty again so we'll have to clean it again. So there we go. Okay, it's now in the correct way, but I have to clean it here again because of the fingerprints and you definitely see that. So make sure you always clean the lenses before you use your dive headset and there we go. 
Okay, so it should be quite clean right now, and now we can just put in the Galaxy S6 Edge, but just make sure you put it in the correct way, so with the top facing this. But now we have to um, check out something else. Now in the middle of the screen you will see the line which separates the screen and you have to make sure that um, also the plastic thing here separates the display otherwise um, it doesn't look very good. So make sure you put it on here somewhere something like this and there we go. And now you just close here the lid and boom we're actually ready to go. So the smartphone is now in there and here at the bottom, you see um, there's actually nothing, so um, you can use your fingers down there to um, tap at the screen if, for instance, the button is not working. Now, it really depends on your smartphone. The only bad thing here, because um, exactly my volume button is here um, where that plastic thing is, and it triggers the volume button all the time, so I have to play around a little bit until I can use it, but once it's correctly in, I'm actually ready to use it and yeah I just started the camera application with that so um, I will now go back into the dive application and then show you how that looks like. So this is how it looks from the inside and when you actually look through it. Now um, first of all you really have to configure the lenses so basically you just put it on your head and then you start to configure here the lenses so in and out and also um, forth and back and this is very important otherwise the picture won't be a single picture it will be very blurry so make sure you adjust it once and just play around with all the settings but basically as you can see if you move your head I also move the cursor here inside you can um, rotate so you can just rotate your head 360 degrees but there is no head tracking so um, if you have oculus dev kit 2 there's a little camera which tracks your head so basically you can go in and out so here I can't do that so the distance is actually the same you see that? But um, I can fully rotate my head 360 degrees and that's a really nice thing. But before you can really use it, just make sure you adjust all the things. And well, um, if you don't have the magnetic button, you have to use your finger in there to tap at the things. But So you can also use that magnetic button, which you can see here on the left side. It's here. So basically you aim just at, um, for instance, here apps and there we go. Then you just um, pull down the button and then you're in and then you can pull down the button again to start the game for instance. So it's a very nice thing and this is um, basically how that thing works and now I would say I will just go and play a little bit and I will show you that on the screen and then we'll talk about my final conclusion. Now guys, as everything in life, also virtual reality, it's way more fun with alcohol. Yes, you're absolutely right. And I was running out of beers, so I'm now drinking this piss thing here. No, actually it's wine, but the wine was so disgusting, so I was throwing in that. And if the company sees this video, please sponsor me. It's really nice actually, and I like to drink in front of the camera. Yeah. Okay, um, then let's come back here to the dive virtual reality headset. So here it is. Now it's connected with a micro USB cable, it's actually the smartphone to the computer because we are recording over ADB. I hope it's not too laggy, but yeah, I will do a tutorial on this too. And yeah, um, I will drink a little bit more and now I will just play the toilet simulator for you. So this is how it looks like and let's see what we can do there. So there we go guys, cheers. So guys, we're now here in the game and something went wrong. So while starting the game, I was looking into that direction. So actually I'm sitting wrong on the toilet. I'm not really sure how that is possible because I'm rotating my head like, oh, holy crap, there's a fucking spider on the, on the paper. Oh, nice, a knife, I have the same one, but the spider really flashed me. Now, the dive headset, it's absolutely great. So, um, with the 2K display of my Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, even though it's not the S6, so it's the Edge version, it works pretty good and it's super sharp. So, 2K displays rule the world. All right, now, the dive headset is pretty good. I'm still holding it because I haven't really um, adjusted it to my needs and it's very hard to really find the correct spot. But yeah, the toilet simulator is probably the worst game I've ever played in my fucking life. So what we can see here. Now, who has got a barrel in the bathroom? Alright, but also who has a fucking spider there and an AK-47 in the corner all along with a knife, so a little bit paranoid. And what the hell am I wearing? I have <laughs> yellow gloves, oh my god. I must be some gay boy. Okay, don't vomit, don't shit on the toilet. <laughs> what the hell? Can you see the sign? It's absolutely nice. Okay, um, yeah, a clock. 
some yeah some shit piles on the ground and that's basically it so at least i do not run out of paper and i will now just end here my toilet session but so far the experience is really super oh, holy super awesome um now guys we are oh holy crap now guys we are playing here um bike we are oh, okay drinking and mm. it's oh yeah we have sound so with headphones this is even better and you can even drink when you have the dive vr so that's super awesome but i'm seriously already a bit too drunk to play that game but well i'm doing my bike license next month so i think i can do that so there we go and basically you have just to move your head i can also do it without holding it but somehow a strap at the top would be nice too so that it's not sliding down a bit because otherwise oh my goodness this game is really too fast for me right now and we can play it the last time so well regarding my bike license because i don't want to bore you right now with just playing um i'm trying to get a bmw 750 i'm not sure if there are any bikers watching my damn videos but it would be real nice if you would just leave me a suggestion for an entry level bike okay this game is way too fast for me but um as you can see you need a gyroscope to move your head and everything otherwise you couldn't uh, even play the game because it would just drive straight forward and crash and die and um, slowly death and yeah that's basically bike vr another nice game and yeah let's just check out another game because i'm really in the mood and we are with the dive here is really nice okay then now let's play something where i really have to move and do something and this is hoverboard um vr or something like that and there we go um um, yeah, I'm on a hoverboard, I'm not sure how I look like, but as you can see I can turn around 360 degrees and you also have to do that because enemies are coming from the back. Um, shit, I hope you can still hear me, but there we go, um, let's destroy those things and yeah, let's see how fast I will come here in this game. And basically we drive here with a hoverboard and enemies are coming from every side and you have to look at them for a short time to trigger your lasers just like Skrillex and um, yeah kill other people or drones or whatever is coming at you and there we go okay so there's something coming here from the back you just look at it and you can destroy it and it's really cool because it's a really immersive game you have to turn around 360 degrees and you really feel like you would be in the game but they're coming from everywhere so i'm already too drunk to play that you have to be way faster and i'm so fucking slow well, i'm just maybe too old for this and oh my goodness stage two destroy seven robots holy crap so it looks really good regarding the sharpness well it depends on which smartphone you have now on um, samsung phones with SMLED at displays and high resolution it looks absolutely awesome but also on the iphone retina displays but if you have some crappy china phone which i review sometimes with 720p or not 720p it will probably look crappy but here on the samsung it's a super awesome experience and i had so many vr goggles i had oculus i had well yeah a lot of oculus stuff and this is basically the most advanced one and it, it looks like you would yeah you would look through a pixel grid but here with the sharp displays of the smartphones it's just super super awesome for sure you can also have that in cardboard but um i wouldn't play that game with a cardboard because i would be afraid that it's falling apart all right so i think i will just see that i will die somewhere here because the game gets kind of boring and i think you can play it for a very long time even though when you're drunk okay so i will just stop it and we'll switch to another more interesting game so guys here's the last game we're going to play and this is the roller coaster simulator so probably one of the most popular games and i think we can also use the button here nope i have to double tap um i have to tap on the screen to restart okay now start the right, look to the left, or what's going on here, oh, I have to look at the button here. Okay, now it starts, whoa, super awesome, it looks really sharp. Now I played a roller coaster simulator um, with Oculus on the computer, it was, um, I don't remember anymore, but you could also build your own roller coasters, it, it was super awesome, but always when I played it, um, it was just like you would look through a grid, because the resolution of Oculus is not that high. Now if I could play this here with my um, S6 display, but the frame rate right now, it's, it's not so good, so oh holy crap, I'm seriously getting a bit more motion sick i hope i don't vomit here because i don't have a bucket right now but somehow it's not 
that strong like an oculus because if i move my my head for instance in and out nothing is going to happen because there is no real head tracking and yeah um also um it's lagging a little bit i think that's why i got motion sick because i think it's not even fully 30 fps so you need a real high-end smartphone i mean the s6 actually is but the touch with rom is so crappy and yeah, um, the Dive VR does a pretty good job. So it fits my phone, it fits a lot of other phones, and it does pretty much the job. But I think it can't replace a real desktop solution because just the whole VR experience is a little bit better. Even though for a mobile experience, this is really super awesome. It's so 3D. I, yeah, hands up. Holy crap, hands up. Another loop, and there we go. Let's vomit onto other people. It's really super awesome, but just oculus feels a little bit more vr i mean in and out and also uh, the whole frame rate feeling from the computer which if you have a high-end pc can deliver a steady frame rate is way better than playing that crap on your mobile phone and what's going on with the head tracking i'm not looking into that direction something wrong here with um, the head tracking in the game but not with dive so dive is actually some passive device you just put your phone in and you're using all the features from the smartphone and well that's basically it so we did a whole ride on the roller coaster a bit drunk and i didn't vomit so it wasn't that much like on the computer because on the computer i really got motion sick and it was just like oh holy crap stop 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 here it's a nice experience but it's yeah it's not that much vr as i um experienced with oculus so far so ladies and gentlemen we're now here at the end of this review of the dorowis dive virtual reality headset and i had a lot of fun testing it now it's way better than Google Cardboard, but also way more expensive. So you can get Cardboard from 5 to $10, but without the strap. So with the strap, I think it's a little bit more expensive. But well, um, this one here, you can really use it for a long time. The plastic used here, um, it's really some durable plastic. So um, you can open it up however you want to. You can just close it like this here, and it will still fit. So it's really quite durable. And that means you can use it very often. Now if you use cardboard also a lot, then um, this is definitely a um, good investment. Okay, um, now regarding some things I didn't like about it is, um, for instance, a strap. Now the strap is really nice. It's just like an Oculus strap, but the top strap is missing. So um, on Oculus, the top strap actually carries the cable, but the top strap is also really nice because um, then the virtual reality headset is not sliding down. And you don't want to have so much pressure um, on your skin because here you have to make it really tight, otherwise it's just sliding down a bit. So the top strap would be really nice. I'm looking really forward, um, maybe they will just implement a top strap, that would be really awesome. And also maybe here um, the closing mechanism so of that um, cover here for the smartphone could be better because you have to really bend it then down and in there. So maybe this could be better because it feels really cheap even though this is a really high quality product. Because you can just get out the lenses, you can replace the lenses, you can clean them. The lenses are good quality, you can fully adjust them so this really gives you a good VR experience. But still, this does not turn every smartphone into Oculus Rift. You have to have a high-end smartphone with um, at least, I would say, full HD display. Now, you can use it also with low resolution, but then it's not that nice. The 2K display of my S6 Edge is just perfect. Now, a bigger display, and which is not curved on the edges, would be better. So this gives you a um, better VR experience. And also your smartphone um, should have, for instance, a um, hall sensor for the magnetic button because the magnetic button is so useful. This is something you do not have on cardboard. On cardboard you just go, you grab your finger and you try to press the screen and ba um, basically you just yeah put the finger in your nose. And I mean you can do it here too, but with the magnetic button this is just a whole different experience. And this was a very good solution by Dive that they have implemented um, yeah the whole sensor and that whole thing because this is really good. Now I could imagine something over the 3.5mm check, for instance you put in a little receiver in the 3.5mm check and have a wireless button on there, that would be nice too, so maybe we can see that in the future for um, other devices without hall sensor at the top or whatever. 
but um, it's a really a cool thing. Now it's quite expensive, um, you'll find a link down below in the description, but um, in my opinion if you really use mobile VR that often it's probably worth it. There are other solutions, there's Zeiss, it's more expensive, so I think over 200 euro, but they have something which is very good and this is um, a universal lens. Here on the um, dive you have to adjust the lenses, so you have to um, basically go in and out of the lens left and right to fit it to your needs. But the Zeiss VR, I've tried it and you just put it on and you have the perfect picture. So basically it works for all the eyes and um, the lenses, you, you know the micro rifle scopes and I do shooting, I like shooting a lot and they have the best scopes and they also have the best lenses. Here um, this is way way cheaper so half of the price gives you almost the same VR experience but you have to adjust the lenses. Now if you really want to save money the dive is something which is yeah the perfect product for you because it's actually quite cheap for a reusable VR experience. I mean you can reuse the cardboard too but honestly after 10-15 times it's just already very broken. So um, yeah, um, I had a lot of fun doing that, sorry if I talk really a lot, I had a couple of drinks and yeah, if you're drunk this is even more fun. So this is a really nice party product, if you have some friends over there then just yeah, put in your smartphone, it's a universal product, works with almost every smartphone, but well the experience depends on which smartphone you put in there for sure. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so the link is down below in the description if you're interested in the product. I really had fun testing it, you will find some more VR things on my channel very soon, so stay tuned. And once again guys, thank you so much for watching, have a nice day and bye bye, see ya!